the ACL really is a creator of opportunities. And so while we do, we are a human rights organization and we, we do a lot of um, work both with people with developmental disabilities and their families as well as in working with systems to protect people's human rights. The other thing that we're always looking at is the opportunities. We started back in the 1950s, um, just after the end of the Second World War when um, um, human rights became much more of an issue um, in you know, certainly Europe and, and um, North America. And we realized that we had a lot of people who were still living in institutions and children who were being denied an education. And that's really the, the, the breeding ground for the ACL was um, all of this lack of opportunity. And we provide, um, you know, everything from individual advocacy to perhaps somebody who is um, struggling to get the services that they need in their life or a family who you know the maybe the parents are primary caregivers and you know they're getting to the age where they need to think about what's ha what's going to happen when we can't continue to care for our um, son or daughter so um, you know we we will help people navigate through those difficult decisions and help them understand the options that are available to them and then on the other hand we have to be constantly developing those options so that what we have to offer people is more than just a Medicaid waiver resource with everybody in their lives being paid provider. And so I think that's where we, we want to make sure that people have the stability of the services they need, but that they continue to have the opportunity for community. And that's where our human and civil rights work is kind of balanced between um, you know, the human rights work and the community building. You know, when, when my daughter was born, you know, the first thing I was hit with was, well, one, put her away, was what the doctor said, which I couldn't go for. But it was the idea of all that she was going to miss. And then later to find out, no, she really didn't miss out on anything. You know, she was in Girl Scouts and she went horseback riding and she went to prom and she, you know, had her home. It looked differently, you know, than probably other kids. But, you know, it was all possible. And it was possible with the support of the community and professionals within that community who saw beyond the label. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, the best role that the ACL plays now. And you have such dynamic staff yes. and leadership. And, um, and we have a community that's responsive. And so all the ingredients are coming together.